today's lesson is on the order of operations. Today you're going to need to know these three steps. The first step we'll be doing is to perform operations in parentheses. Step two is to multiply and divide in order from left to right. And last of all, step three is to add and subtract. So here's our first example. We have seven times parentheses eight divided by two. So the first thing we're going to do is anything in parentheses. So as I look down there, we do have one thing in parentheses. We have eight divided by two. So we're gonna do that first. Even though it's on the right side, we always do our parentheses first. So what is 8 divided by 2? It is 4. Now we check to see if we have any other parentheses. We don't. If you ever have more than one, we usually go from left to right until all the parentheses are done. Step 2 is multiply and divide in order from left to right. So we do have something to multiply. We have our 7. So 7 times 4 is 28. There's nothing left to multiply or divide or to add and subtract. So we're done. That's our answer. 28. Okay, here's a new problem. 17 subtract 3 times 5. So first we look for any parentheses, which we don't have this time. So we're done with step 1. That was easy. Step two, multiply and divide. Well, we do have something to multiply or divide. We have something to multiply, which is our three times five. So what is three times five? It is 15. Is there anything else to multiply or divide? Nope. So we get to move on to step number three which is add and subtract. So, what is 17 subtract 15? It's 2. So there we go. We're done again. Watch what would have happened if I'd just done this from left to right, which is the wrong way. Remember, what I'm about to do is wrong. So we have 17 subtract 3 times 5. If I didn't know my order of operations, I would have just started with 17 subtract 3, which is 14. And then I still have times 5 that I haven't used. So what is 14 times 5? It's 70, which is very different than number 2, than the number 2. So 70 is wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. So make sure you follow the order of operations so you can get, can get them right. So go ahead and write this one down with me. Hopefully you did the last one too. So here's our new problem. In parentheses, 7 subtract 3 times parentheses 4 plus 5. So first step is our parentheses. And this time we have 2. So if we have 2, we'll just start with the one on the left first. So what is 7 subtract 3? It is 4. Then we have to finish all of our parentheses before we move on. We still have one left. So what is 4 plus 5? It is 9. There aren't any more parentheses. So we can move on to step number 2, which is multiply and divide. So we do have that multiplication sign there in the middle. So we have 4 times 9, which is 36. And we're done. 36. Go ahead and try these next ones on your own. I made the order of operations extra big. So here's your first question. Number 1. What is 9 subtract 2 times 4? Remember, first parentheses, then multiply and divide, 
then add and subtract. Number 2. 7 subtract 5 plus 73. Number 3. 4 plus 5 times 17 subtract 12. Last of all, number 4. We have 2 times 7 plus 18 divided by 6. Make sure to have this ready in the morning, and we'll see you on our next lesson tomorrow.